Olympic qualifying competition comes to Marion County during the Ocala Jockey Club International three-day event, November 14th through the 17th. Horse Capital Television, brought to you by Horse Capital Digest, showcase properties of Central Florida, the Florida Thoroughbred Breeders and Owners Association, Discover Florida Horses, and Horse Farms Forever. Did you know you can enjoy a leisurely ride through horse country in Marion County by horse-drawn carriage? We'd like to introduce you to the Horse Country Carriage Company. Welcome, my name is Kimmy, and your horse today is Tiny Prince Charming. And we are with the Horse Country Carriage Company located here at the Kimberton Farm. Now, Kimberton is primarily a 60-acre hunter and jumper show barn and training facility. And we're also the home to the University of Florida equestrian team. Now, I have a lot of great information for you today. We talk about the farms and the history of the area, how Ocala became the horse capital, some of the famous horses as well. Now, a few years back, a gentleman showed up at our gate in the springtime, and I went out to see if I could help him, and he said, well, my name is Melvin James. He followed that up with, I broke and trained Affirmed. Now, Affirmed won the Triple Crown back in 1978, so this is a really big deal. And he says, well, I'm getting inducted into the Agriculture Hall of Fame, and I'm taking a drive down memory lane, and I used to work horses out of your barn. So I was wondering if I could come in and take a look around again. And I said, well, of course you can. So I invited him in, and we had a really nice visit. And as we were chatting, he explained to me that all of the land that we see on this end of 110th all used to be part of the Harborview Farm, which was owned by the Wolfson family, who had also owned a firm. Now, Affirmed was actually born in a different barn off of our particular piece of property, but when he was old enough, Mr. James brought him across the street on our left and gave him his start on this little training track out here. If we would have kept on going straight, instead of turning around at Classic Acres, we'd eventually come out to the traffic light at State Road 40. And there on the corner is the Live Oak Plantation. It's the second largest farm in our county, to my knowledge, coming in at around 5,000 acres. And it is also owned by the heiress to Campbell Soup. Now, if you go past their place, you'll eventually dead end at the gate for Kinsman Farm. And that was owned by the late George Steinbrenner of the New York Yankees. And Mr. Steinbrenner, being the businessman that he was at one point in time, also owned our local Ramada Courtyard Marriott and Fairfield hotels before he passed. Now, I could go on and on, but my favorite local, of course, has to be John Travolta. Now, JT only lives about 12 miles away in a fly-in community called Jumbalair. And to give you some background, Jumbalair was originally a Vanderbilt estate. All throughout the year, we do have our farm tour, um, which we're out on now, giving the history of the farms in the area. And then the other popular thing that we have is downtown Ocala over the holiday season. We are out from Thanksgiving weekend, most nights all the way through New Year's Eve, giving tours around the downtown square area. If you'd like more information, visit Horse Country Carriage Company and tours.com or call Kimmy at 352-727-0900. Barbara Dawson's wardrobe provided by Dillard's, Market Street at Heathbrook, Ocala. At Showcase Properties of Central Florida, we specialize in residential, farms, land, and commercial properties. Let us introduce you to the best the region has to offer. Discover Ocala, showcase properties of Central Florida.